Hello, my name is Christian Castro, and I'm from Omaha South. <laughs> my poem is titled, <coughs> excuse me, Mr. Bubbles. As vivid as the brown paper bag my memory is, I remember my pop's old drink, his, rem his remedy for the past, present, and future. The luscious liquid more costly than gold that he longed to have run down his soul. When his eyes locked on target, he was on the prowl. I remember hearing his deep breath and seeing his dark skin glimmer in the dim gas station light, not once looking back. My own personal vampire lord arising from the crypt, just like the movies. <laughs> time after time, he devoured his victims whole and with an insatiable thirst for more. Entirely, no one could stand in his way, not even me. It never left his grip. The cashier couldn't scan it, not even the car could hold it safe. And I, presumably his only son, could not share in one sip. Share in the obvious pleasure his treat delighted him with. Being a forlorn four-year-old sucks balls. <laughs> when people say being a third wheel is not preferred, they have no idea. I have his blood, his face, his fat nose and squinty eyes, but when will I hold his heart? When will he hold my hand? When will he hear my voice. Is it because I don't have his skin, his hair, his short height, or fashion sense, or much less his mind? How can two people so similar be so unalike? Mr. Bubbles, I came to call it. Senor, late night drink. Sir, just one more, the revealer of all truths. It seemed his companion would never leave his side. From the moment I'm in the front door, his fridge door is open to grab just one more. His fridge door is open to grab just one more. In the car, I hear no talking sounds, only bubble sounds to keep me company. I'm right here, I clamor. Hello up there, down here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you pay just one ounce of attention? I know it's late, but it's time for you to take me home. Ears gone, eyes occupied, me forgotten. He will never be my home. I never did really figure out what he drank. I only remember the brown paper bag and my heart an empty bank <laughs> with a drink so sweet his little boy couldn't compete thank you